Hello everyone, this is the Lysol. Welcome to my week 18 progress report on my main account, the Lysol. What happened to week 15, 16, 17, you might ask? Well, I got really busy in real life, had a lot of things going on, just didn't have the time to do this stuff. Uh, and then the crate raid came out and I got sucked into that on my days off last week, but now I am back. I didn't have a lot of time to prepare graphics for this, so we're gonna do this quick and dirty this time around. Let's get started. All right, so preparing for this project, I put together this spreadsheet. You know, the usual. Uh, I break my gearing farms down into five tiers. I put five characters in each tier. I work on one character to its goal per week and another one to G11, 12, or 13 in the same week while using other gear, any leftover gear to get other characters up to G11. As you can see, I've been working on GI and Java. GI is long done. And I just got Java the other day. Actually, today I got Java. I finished the farming a week ago, I think. And I just did my last battle to unlock Java today. So, we will actually start going to this spreadsheet here for the Sith Eternal. That is what I will be working on next. So as you can see for Sith Eternal, I have EP at R6, Stark at G12, Anakin at R6, Marauder at G12, Sidious at G11, Dooku G11, Maul G10, Tarkin G11, Royal Guard G9, Krennic G11, Jabba is there. He's actually G12. He'll be Relic 7 by the end of the week. Uh, Armorer G8. And then I added Candorous also at G11. And Sith Assassin and Sith Trooper to R5-ish because I am preparing myself for the Leviathan event. All right. So now, now we'll take a look at my... G11s. I did not take too many characters up to G11 in the past couple of weeks. Uh, I tried to go through this to make sure I got it all, but I haven't been tracking this as well as I should have. Uh, but this is still the same. I'm at 17 out of 75 G11s. But the crate raid, the gear that we are going to be getting from the Mark I tokens, this spreadsheet. I have a feeling I'll have this spreadsheet done, aside from the characters that are Cairo heavy, by the end of the summer. And I think it'll be really, really nice. I think that this is going to bring pretty much any mid to end game roster up to a baseline of G11, G12 on everything, which means you'll have every team at your disposal. It's just a matter of where you put your Zetas and your Kairos at this point. All right, so we'll look at the GP tracking here from 423 to 511, which is today, Thursday, not the Sunday, because I did my unlocking of Java today. I went from 8.441 million to 8.543. I went from 180 to 186 Zetas. All six of those Zetas were on Java. I went from 15 to 16 Omicrons. That Omicron was Boosh. Uh, I went from 100 to 102 Relic characters. Those were Gam Guard and uh, Mob Enforcer. Uh, G12, I have 14. The extra one's Jabba. And G11, I have 43 now. So we'll look at my plan here. We'll zoom this in a little bit. So because of the way that the Guild Store, Raid Store works now, I've taken the store portion out of this. I can pick and choose whatever gear pieces I want and buy them in insane quantities pretty much two, three times a week. So I don't even have to worry about that anymore. So now we only really have to look at what my energy is gonna be spent on. So we've got in dark side and light side, I'm working on Zori and Tuscan Chieftain. Thankfully, both dark side farms because I'm working on my Java tickets. Uh, shock prods, and I'm gonna take stun guns out of there because stun guns are very easy to get now. And actually shock prods I won't be working on because they're a light side node. In Cantina, we're gonna do signal data. You thought I was gonna say Cal, but during the double drops, I got Cal straight to seven stars. 
I got Cal to seven stars the day after the double drops ended and it was glorious. In the fleets, I'm going to be getting med packs, thermals, security scanners, just whatever. I don't have any ships left to farm in there. So it's just G12 pieces. It's probably gonna be exclusively the purple pieces because those are pretty expensive for the Mark II gear. And the gold pieces are not all that expensive for the Mark II uh, raid tokens. But we'll see how it shakes out. Well, in practice, it might work out way differently than in my head. Uh, and my goal for next week is to have Jabba at Relic 7 and to start the C requirements. So we'll go back and look at this again. We'll do boop, boop, boop. I've got a whole lot of work to do towards C, but I'm actually pretty close to being halfway there, I'd say. And all of these are ancillary things. We've got Jabba, obviously he'll be Relic 7 by the next week. Uh, Armorer, he's, she just goes with C, so that's why I added her to this. Candorus, I wanted another Mandalorian that wasn't Imperial Super Commando to go in my Mando squad in place of Watt, so I can use Watt elsewhere. And then Assassin and Trooper are both for the Leviathan. So we'll go here. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it greatly. I promise next week I'll have, I'll be back into form doing it the way I normally do it. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, follow me on Twitch at the Lysol. I usually start around, I start work earlier now, so probably a little bit before 6 a.m. Uh, most days and then 8 a.m. on days that I don't work. Uh, and uh, join the Discord, which is in the description. And uh, I think that's it, guys. Watch these videos and stuff, and I'll see you all in the next one.